Utility Geek Daniel here. I'm going to be installing a new outlet. Um, this is one of the, uh, the bedrooms that's opposite the bathroom that we're doing. Uh, so it was really convenient to cut a hole in this wall and with the exposed wall on the other side run our wire up. Uh, we have our box installed, our wire in place. We're going to be putting the outlet on. Uh, tools we're going to be using is a pair of pliers, screwdriver, and pocket knife. Um, <clears throat> first I'm going to cut the uh, sheathing off the wire and I'm going to, this is a relatively dull knife, uh, but I'm going to uh, gently press in, not all the way through, uh, around the wire and then uh, poke in with the tip of the knife and drag it down the center of the wire uh, to cut the, the sheathing. And uh, where it's been marked, it rips fairly easily, which is why we don't need to cut all the way through. Um, so when I have a little piece of sheathing, we throw away some paper, rip that off, throw that away, extra layer of paper around the ground wire, rip or cut that off, and throw it away, uh, and then we have our hot ground and neutral wires. Um, the outlets have, uh, most of them at least, uh, have these nice little strip gauges. Uh, you certainly use wire strippers for these. Uh, they're very convenient. Uh, what I find works relatively well is to just use the pocket knife. Um, put a little mark on our wires according to the strip gauge where we want to cut them. And I just drag the wire, uh, or rather drag the knife around the wire uh, until I make a full circle and then I can usually twist and pull the insulation off. And I'm, um, again, like the, the sheathing, I'm not trying to go all the way down to the bare metal. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to uh, score the insulation where I want want it to separate. to make little hooks in the into the wires uh, to go onto the screws. Um, these are also, uh, most of the outlets that you can find today uh, are set up with this uh, push lock mechanism uh, where you just shove the wire inside the hole and it has a piece of metal that uh, uh, ratchets onto the, the wire and keeps it from sliding back out. Um, and, and those are fine and convenient and easy to use. But I'm old school and I like the, the screws. Um, check your outlet to make sure that you, you're going to be connecting the right wire to the right side. Uh, this one is labeled white wire and this one is labeled hot wire. Uh, ground goes to the nice green screw at the bottom.
Uh, with wire this stiff, it doesn't make much difference, but it's convenient if you can uh, curl the hooks in the same direction that you're going to be tightening the screw so that the force of the screw will try to wind the hook tighter around the screw. With this gauge of wire, it's so stiff it doesn't make any difference at all. If you're using a small, smaller wire, um, perhaps for a uh, like a 10 amp circuit, um, that might make a, a little more difference. It'll be convenient if you can set the hook in the same direction as the uh, the direction you're going to be turning the screw. firmly uh, against the wire to make sure that the, the hook is as far uh, or as close to the bolt uh, as possible when I screw it down. Um, that's it. The three wires are connected. Um, <clears throat> if this outlet was going in the middle of a circuit, uh, there's another pair of terminals for you to screw the, uh, the other wire on that continues on around the circuit. Um, it really doesn't matter whether your supply uh, goes on the, the top or the bottom uh, unless you're dealing with a GFI circuit. Um, with GFIs or a GFI outlet, it really does matter which side gets connected where. And the GFI outlets are clearly labeled and most of them have tape over the, uh, the ones you're not supposed to connect the supply to so that you don't accidentally hook it up incorrectly. Um, but now that we have our, our wire connected, um, <clears throat> we can either push the excess wire back through the box uh, into the wall, or we can uh, try to fold it up gently inside the box. Uh, since we have uh, free space, I'm going to fold it slightly, but mostly uh, push the excess wire back into the wall. Having uh, the excess wire in the box is convenient if you have to pull the outlet out to wire up something else or replace the outlet. in place. Your lovely Anoki, your assistant, has brought you a faceplate. And I have only a Phillips screwdriver handy. So we will consult with the mighty Swiss Army. Very handy geek tool to have lying around in your pocket. installed, covers in place, now we can go turn the power on. <laughs> 